Hi, it's Cayman Reynolds, and if you're assembling a lot of your own bee equipment or just other things around the house, you've probably heard about staple guns or looked into getting one. Well, here is two models right here that we're gonna be talking about. I think they're both great. It depends on what you want and what you really need on which one you probably should get. Now, we're gonna be doing a little bit of shooting here, so if you're afraid of loud noises, this might not be the best video. It's not gonna to get too terrible loud in here, but both of these staple guns are the same class. They shoot a quarter inch crown, 18 gauge staple, and they can handle up to one and a half inch long staples. Now, I've got an inch here, an inch and a half, and depending on what you're doing, both sizes are really handy. Now, I'll tell you, if you're a good shot, you can use one and a half inch for just about everything that a hobby beekeeper would need. I, I've used them for years on frames and stuff, but I've been starting to use the one inch a little bit more, makes it a little bit easier. But this one right here comes from Harbor Freight. It is a Banks stapler. Now they've got another one, but I don't think it's as good. This one's got better reviews. Um, I've shot several thousands through it. This one over here is my baby. Now I've worked this one a lot. We are pushing upwards of 200,000 staples on this one. I've never had it jam on me. Now I've had it uh, misfire whenever I've run out of staples and if I hit a knot or something, of course, it'll give me issues. But as far as giving me any problems um, that shouldn't be happening, this one right here is extremely reliable. Now, there is an issue that it is no longer called Hitachi anymore. It is called Metabo. It's the same staple gun, but it, uh, they've changed the name for whatever reason. I don't think it's very good marketing, but... I do know folks who have purchased them since they changed the name and they say they work exactly the same, they look the same. But this one right here is just reliable. I think you're gonna spend around 80 odd dollars, 90, depending on where you source it. I got mine at Lowe's many years ago. It's been a great gun. Can't complain about it at all. We're gonna shoot it here in a second. It shoots a lot faster for me than this one does. It's one of the advantages. It doesn't give me any issues. The banks right here, you can get it, especially if you get those Harbor Freight coupons that they're throwing out all the time, for like $24, $25, maybe even cheaper if they have one of their bigger 20% um, deals going on or something like that. This one right here does a good job. One of the advantages over this Hitachi or Metabo stapler is that it's a lot quieter. That is really nice. But it does give you little issues when it comes to occasional, just, it just won't shoot out a, a staple. This doesn't happen that often but it does happen from time to time. And as long as you're not in a big rush and needing to do a whole lot of equipment, it's really not that big of a deal. I think for a hobby um, fellow or, or lady that's wanting to throw some stuff together and just want to save some time and also do a, a good job, this does a good job, but occasionally it does miss. And uh, every blue moon it jams. It's really not bad about jamming. But let's get to some shooting. I'm gonna show you one of the reasons why this one shoots a lot faster for me. And uh, you'll be able to probably see from the video which one you think's better for you. But there's quite a bit of price difference between these two. And if you have access to an air compressor that you may already have, or you know, back in the day like I used to do where I'd kind of borrow my dad's without asking, then there are ways that you can staple. And they work so much better than a brad nailer because you have this crown up here and you're fixing to see, it goes into the wood and it sits right on top of it and it just it holds it down. Now nothing beats having a staple and glue. It's a perfect combination for the strongest frames in my opinion. Um, between the two, it's a, it's a great combination. So let's get to stapling. So we're going to do some top bars over here and then some bottom bars. So let's do the Harbor Freight version real quick. Cover your ears. Now, usually I have earring protection and all that kind of stuff on, but not for this one. All right, this is one of the problems is this little piece is on the right side. So if you're a lefty, this is fantastic. I am not left-handed though, and I'm gonna show you why when I get to the next one. Okay. Okay, check this out. I'm gonna have to turn it sideways so you can see. Now, this is the only time I've encountered this as a problem. You have to push that black piece down in order to be able to Get this firing head right here up against the wood and then you can pull the trigger once that's depressed all the way. The problem is, is you've got to put that staple right down in here. You've got about three eighths of an inch or so to get it into and it's really hard to press that down and get it right where it needs to be. You can do it. 
but it's just not a whole lot of space. This one is designed very differently. And you know, it would help if I put some staples in here. There we go. And it has a totally different head, so you can just push it down. No problem. You see how that one was a little bit louder. But this one has this little piece on the other side. And so now I can show you how my baby really makes daddy happy. All right, here we go. So I didn't even have to touch the wood. Now, does Hitachi or Metabo recommend you do that? I'm sure they don't. But America was built on breaking rules and all that kind of stuff. Anyways, back to the Harbor Freight. We are going to shoot, so we're not gonna shoot anymore with the Harbor Freight. That's, this is the only time I've encountered that being an issue. That could be a problem on other staplers. But when it comes to like shooting into a box of yours, a beehive or something else, you know, it's three quarter of an inch. You have a lot more space and that little tab on the front will work just fine. So let's go over here to this one. You know, you can still go plenty fast. It's doing a great job of sinking them in. It's accurate. It very seldom jams, but occasionally, more often if it's going to give you issues, it's going to be because it just doesn't shoot a staple. And then you'll depress it down one more time and it'll shoot just fine. I don't know why that is. Maybe something to do with this mechanism in here that, um, feeds it upwards and doesn't quite feed it up fast enough for how I'm shooting it sometimes. But anyway, there's not a whole lot to these things, but we're, I'm gonna leave a link below in the comments where you can see these things online and decide if that's something that you would like. But whether you're building a box for your bees or a lid or a bottom board or something like that, a staple gun is great. You can see how, this one didn't go all the way in, but you can see how that just goes in there and presses down on that wood we put glue down in there and between the two, you are going to get a very strong frame that's gonna last a long time, as long as you keep your bees in there and keep your frame out of the rain. So thanks for watching the videos. If you have any comments or questions on these awesome staplers, leave them below.